Hey, hello everybody. Hello and welcome to another edition of Food. Hey, food. Thank you. Thank you very much, wifey. Ah, yes. So, <laughs> welcome to another edition of, food. of uh, Chris, I have the Storm Taylor um, playing a week of XCOM 2. Um, let me just find somewhere for this. Hang on. Let me. There we go. Let me just pull this up here. So, yeah, uh, playing another week of XCOM 2. And, yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. And thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, telling your friends. Um, by the way, I'm only six, six subscribers away from 50. So, please, if you're watching, hit... Hit, hit subscribe, hit subscribe, please. Uh, give me some support. Uh, give me some, give me some, give me some love. So, uh, as I was explaining over the last few days, we've started this campaign uh, on idonate.ie to help support Temple Street Children's Hospital uh, with the specifically the bone marrow disorders uh, and hematology departments. So all the details are up here. I donate dot ie forward slash Chinook. We've been speaking with Temple Street Hospital about this. They they've agreed that uh, the funds will go directly to that department. So everything is in place. And as you can see, already 200 euro in the in the uh, in the fund. Now, something I didn't quite explain last time is that the campaign is running till 2031. So, you know, whether or not I'm streaming or whatever, that campaign is still going to be open for the next 10 years. It finishes on what would have been Chinook's 13th birthday. However, the way that I donate.ie works is that they're not waiting for the end of the campaign for that money. Temple Street aren't going to have to wait until 2031. So every month, whatever we've received in that calendar month will go to Temple Street. So as I say, this is this is a long running campaign. This is something that's going to be going for a while. And no matter when you give uh, to the campaign, it will be going on a month by month basis to Temple Street. And 100% of your donations will be going to Temple Street to the hematology, to the bone marrow disorders unit. And that will help them buy more equipment and do more for the patients and the families of the children uh, with those diseases. So again, thank you very much to everyone who's donated. Please tell your friends, tell your family about the campaign. If, you, if you've got, you know, it doesn't matter how much you give, the, the whole point is, you're giving to a great cause. You're giving, giving something which is going to make a lot of difference for a lot of families. And this is from, we know how much they care about the patients from our own personal experience with Shunnock's uh, reverse syndrome. We saw how much effort the team puts in, how much they care about every patient. Um, Shunnock was in the hospital twice a week for transfusions and each week well every now and again we'd hear from health workers who were giving blood uh, and blood products to keep him alive so they care they care so much about every patient that goes through the door so by donating you're not only helping the families and the patients with these you're also helping the staff to 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 find new ways to help it's you know just thank you for listening you know and, and please you know share the campaign tell your friends and also you know if you want to fundraise for it then you know we're, we're very open to that there is a um what we'd like you to do is, um, if you look up here, Twitter at Chris the Brit, 
my private messages are always open. So if you want to do some fundraising, please get in touch with us because we can add, you know, totals to the campaign, but also we can advise you, you know, how to donate in a way that it will go to that specific department. I mean, if you want to donate to Temple Street Foundation, then fantastic, because you'll be providing equipment for every child. But specifically, we're giving to the bone marrow disorders and hematology departments because they've never had funds earmarked for them before. They've been relying on the, the pool that they get every year. So this for them is a big thing. You know, this is this is their opportunity to do some good with uh, donations and, and any help that people can give. So thank you very much. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for telling people about this. You know, thank you. Um, so the other thing you might have noticed is, hang on, where is it? There it is. I've added this banner because this is these are ongoing things. So these are going to be on the stream, on every stream. And if they offend you, you're the kind of person I, I, I don't want watching my streams, to be very honest with you. If you have such inbuilt fascistic prejudices that all human beings are equal, then please go and watch someone else. Go watch some other Nazis. You know, they're probably right up your street. Uh, so just want to make that very clear. Black lives matter, trans lives matter, and trans rights are human rights every single day. So there you go. That That's my view on it. That will always be my view on it. Right. So, again, this week we are playing XCOM 2, which is the sequel to the first XCOM, which is a remake of a classic PC game. And uh, it was also on the uh, first PlayStation and a couple of other consoles as well. And tactical turn-based, save the world from aliens. Now, if you look at my videos from Monday and Tuesday, what you'll see is that everything in the first game didn't exactly go to plan. So I'm not going to release any more spoilers in that regard. If you want to find out, go watch Monday and Tuesday. But in the meantime, uh, today on this Wednesday stream, we are continuing the fight against the aliens um, and their oppression of the human race, basically. So uh, we had our first casualty on, was that yesterday? Yeah, first casualty, the second mission yesterday. Uh, Raven, who is uh, based on Russell Smith, the author. I, I was stupid, put him in an open position, aliens took advantage of that. So the rule is if soldiers get injured, then they get injured. You know, they, they will go into med bay they will come back if i lose a soldier on a mission if there is a full if there is a fatality i restart the mission and will keep restarting until i can get through without any fatalities because everyone who's on the roster is based on someone i know and who has agreed to be on stream so without much more ado let's get back into the game here we go here we go so here we go this is uh only he aka crash course who i know who's uh, an actor and stuntman so he is he is the poster boy today uh so here we go stream four Thanks, Ryan. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Uh, right, so yes, thankfully my camera isn't blocking all of this stuff, and 
where were we? So, we are constructing a proving ground facility so that we can extract information from the alien soldiers and contact the residents of the Black Site region because they have been kidnapping people, literally taking people off the streets um, and putting them in this facility. So, we're all about finding out where that facility is and uh, rescuing people. So. Proving ground. Have we got any research? Hello, Commander. Work is well underway, but it will be some time yet before my research is complete. So, research communications, that's progressing. Working at the Advent Clinics, I saw medical breakthroughs that would have been considered nothing short of miraculous at any time before the aliens' arrival. The elderly and infirm so revitalized with a single treatment that they were often brought to tears. It's a powerful, powerful thing the aliens have developed, perhaps their most insidious creation of all. For my part in it, I remain deeply conflicted. Okay, let's check. Hello, Commander. Engineering. What have we got with flashbang grenades? Smoke grenades. You know something? What have we got? 35 supplies. I'm gonna leave that for the moment. Tell me something, Doctor. Must have been pretty cushy working with Advent, living in the colonies. So why the sudden change of heart? Like most people, I wanted to believe that the aliens were legitimately interested in peace. Although they left me little choice when it came to working with them, I admit, I was drawn to the sense of normalcy they offered. It was a mistake. You should have known better. The aliens would never have come here if they wanted peace. As I said, it was a mistake. One I hope to atone for through my efforts with XCOM. Then I'd say you've got your work cut out for you. <clears throat> Love these little conversations between the crew. You can go to each room and it starts off these little interactions, which totally adds a lot of flavor to the campaign. Also, sorry, I'm going to because I've not really got some garlic bread here. I've also got my dinner, which I literally finished cooking like 10 minutes ago, so. I do apologize. What can I do for you, Commander? Hair triggers. Right, I haven't researched those yet, so leave those alone. And we'll go to the Geoscape. Commander, you're not gonna believe this. We just picked up a signal from an emergency locator beacon. It's definitely one of ours, from the original invasion. I know it sounds crazy, but if there's any chance some of our people could still be out there, I think we owe it to them to find out. Okay, yeah. Avenger plotting new course. to leave those resources there for the moment. Yeah. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. Okay, resistant communications, resistance contacts available. Okay. Let's get you on some more research. Although, conceptually, the idea of establish, establishing a radio-based communication system for the purposes of organizing a resistance movement is nothing new, harkening back to any number of Earth's previous wars that we hope to accomplish here is still no small task. The aliens are particularly adept at detecting our signals with a vast array of technology and resources at their disposal. However, working in close collaboration with the Chief Engineer Shen, we've begun to salvage some of the aliens' own communications equipment from within the Avenger itself. From studying the log files, we've discovered an astounding number of simultaneous communications being distributed throughout their network at any given time. This has proven to be key to our proposed solution. With so much traffic flowing through the alien network, it would be relatively easy for us to disguise our own transmissions among theirs. Using the Avenger as our central hub, we can establish a communications network linking resistance outposts across the globe. Every new contact we establish should organize and strengthen the movement as a whole. So, new facility available, resistance comms, new research available, resistance radio, resistance contacts available. Excellent. 
Resistance comms facility increases the number of regions that we can make contact with. Further contacts will be gained by staffing and engineering here once construction is completed. Okay. Three days, three days, 19 days, six days. Right, let's get these out of the way first. Knowing that my past surgical experience is limited, I am sure the crew appreciates that I hone my skills on fallen Advent forces before triaging our own wounded. To the uninitiated, the common Advent trooper is seemingly human. The aliens have disguised its most glaring divergence from the human form with a carefully designed helmet. Not a job I think I could do. So proving ground should be coming online soon. Tigan just sent word. The new resistance communications network is fully operational. Now we just have to spread the word. Communication systems are online, Commander. We can now make contact with the local resistance in West Africa. Once a contact region is contacted, any regions linked to that region will become immediately available for contact. Excellent. Okay. Now that we've established a link, we can use our intel resources to make contact with the local resistance cell in this region. Aside from getting us into the black site, our access to supplies should improve now that we've expanded our reach. Okay. First of all, we're going to finish Locator Beacon. We're going to investigate that site. Then we're going to move on and make contact with South Africa. See if we can find out the uh, where that black site is. You and I both know we only had one other Sky Ranger, Commander. It's worse for wear, but this heap used to be Big Sky's pride and joy, and someone's been putting her to work. It may be possible to triangulate exactly where they took off from, but it'll take some time. Commander, these weapons are unlike any design I have previously encountered before. I could attempt further analysis, but the likelihood of us reverse engineering them appears low regardless. So, weapons of the hunt. These are weapons that come as part of the expansion. They're one-offs. And, as you said, they can't be made, so... Remember what Tigan said. These new weapons are one of a kind. If we leave them on the battlefield, they'll be lost to us forever. Discovered among a cache of seemingly archaic weaponry, the bolt caster is deceptively powerful but limited by a slow rate of fire. Targeted enemies have a chance of being stunned on impact. This weapon is unique and cannot be duplicated or replaced. Although it may appear old fashioned compared to our latest design, this pistol is remarkably accurate, ensuring that even the most inexperienced of our soldiers will strike their intended target. There's also a chance they could kill the target and escape undetected. This weapon is unique and cannot be duplicated or replaced. Honed to an incredible degree, these ornately crafted throwing axes are compact enough for our soldiers to engage with from long range. These weapons are unique. Relying on an as of yet unidentified chemical agent, these handheld explosives seem capable of instantaneously reducing the ambient temperature of the surrounding area. Exposed tissue will be frozen on contact. Right. Um, Cold Steel is still uh, injured, so Blitz. I think you could use an upgrade. Maybe a little unwieldy, but in the right hands, this thing should cut down anything standing in your way. Fantastic. Crash course. They only provide a single shot action, but this thing hits hard. Even an edge hit could potentially stun the target. Okay. 
Raven. Main sniper. Shadow keeper. <clears throat> Kills made with the shadow fall ability instantly conceal the unit. The way this one is sighted in, there's no excuse for missed shots. Okay, and his uh, cold steel is out. Sparks. You get the frost bomb. The charges in this grenade don't seem all that powerful, but according to Shen, the liquefied gases inside should lead to an instantaneous freeze effect. Okay. Now I think we're ready. Don't need rookies at the moment. Let's go make contact with South Africa. After we pay the initial intel cost to make contact, we'll have to scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Setting course for the South African sector. Commander. Using intel collected so far, we've managed to locate a resistance cell operating out of this region. It'll take us some time to scan for their exact position, though. Let's begin. Attempting to assist. Proving grounds are ready, Commander. We can build the Skulljack whenever you give the word. Okay. Let's see what you've done. Welcome to the Proving Grounds, Commander. It seemed like a good idea to isolate some of our more experimental concepts, especially when it comes to weapons development. Started immediately, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as we've made progress. Okay. Here we go. Fantastic. 50% less time. Should be ready in seven days. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Despite a thorough analysis, I have yet to discover what, if any, advantage the Advent Hybrid Soldier's enormous eyes provide. Testing their visual acuity will no doubt prove difficult. The most public face of Advent security, the standard Advent Trooper serves in a first response role in areas of high public exposure. Although rumors as to their origins have persisted for years, it's only recently that we've confirmed that they are in fact the product of a human-alien hybrid development. My initial autopsy indicates the troopers were at one time entirely human, implying some means of gradual genetic enhancement without the rejection of concerns that normally plague these experiments. The body itself maintains the general outward appearance of a typical human, with the most crucial changes occurring in the cranial structure. It is my belief that the Advent Troopers receive their orders. That is to say, are controlled directly through a psionic link engineered as part of the genetic modification process. As we first discovered in the field, the eyes are notably larger, perhaps as an unintended side effect, as they seem to provide only limited improvements to the Troopers' visual acuity. The aliens have managed to disguise this glaring physical trait from the general public through the use of cleverly designed armour. The battle scanner provides extra vision on the battlefield. Soldiers employ it like a grenade, throwing it into a hidden area of the map they want to reveal. Any hidden or disguised enemies will be revealed as well. Yeah. 
though I was never witness to one myself. Countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. I was not going to admit it to Shen, but there is one thing I miss more than my lab equipment. Those damn juicy Advent burgers. I don't know where they get the meat, and frankly, I do not want to know. Well, aside from us getting this ship up and running, which was mostly Dr. Shen's work, I haven't felt particularly useful in a long time. I'm more than happy to leave the hard decisions to the Commander. Okay. Commander, we've got local resistance forces waiting to make contact, but we'll have to make the first move. Already on it. Nothing on the local comms. Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification... Massive signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens, for 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved. Multiple Crum radar contacts on approach to Haven Alpha 7. That must end. Even as I speak to you today, the gun incoming on approach! Your signal's breaking up. ...is to end this scourge once and for all. They're right on top of you! Losing you, Avenger. Raise them again! We will ensure your continued safety and well-being throughout this crisis. Get your people out of there! With your cooperation, we will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace. We should get a squad ready to deploy. Commander, we have a squad ready to move on the Resistance Haven currently under siege by the aliens. Give the word and we'll move out. Force for the East African sector. Deployed. In position to drop. Advent's so-called peacekeepers are hitting one of the resistance camps in this area. And they're taking out civilians and fighters alike. We're deploying to protect as many people as we can. Secure the site and take out any hostile forces still threatening the area.
Nexus 1-5. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Okay, we're going to blind. That's affirmative. At first, Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional protest. We don't see a whole lot of that anymore. Yeah. Well, that's Target neutralized. That's a pretty effective field test. Get the high ground. Defendable high ground. Just have to wait for the moon. Okay, blitz. I'm on it. Confirmed. Neutralized. Excellent. Understood. Moving out. The resistance managed to recover and restore a handful of these mobile communications jammers over the years. With a few makeshift repairs, these things have proven invaluable to the resistance effort. Closing on target position now. You're clear. Move out. Okay. On the move. my way. Ready to engage. On your order. Overwatch! Damn it! The little bits of minutes! Okay, we need to get battle scatter in that region.
I'm on it. Designated position. Got some hostiles grouped over here. Moving out. You're safe. Now get moving. to designated coordinates. Neutralized. That's not We've heard rumors about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means of containment. Don't even think about it. We're losing civilians left and right, Commander. We need to get these people out of here. That was close. Yeah. Say run. Yeah, as soon as we take this thing down. to position. Why are you just standing around? Go! Okay. 
or something, I think that can come back, so. You can say. Come and get some! Confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Okay, crash course. Heading to that location. there now. Go on, get out of here. Affirmative, covering now. I didn't save the game before this mission began. I didn't save Shot the game. Shot wide! I didn't save the game. I didn't save the game. Affirmative. Moving out.
I'm on the move. Target eliminated. Target eliminated. Menace 15, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional oh. contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. There we go. troops to expect the best and that's what you've shown them commander well done Stone Lancers effectively peel back into a garish grin. 
likely a reflex, reflexive result to use the dangerous dose of combat stimulant to take before battle. Faceless, requiring storage in sealed medical grade vats, whatever remains of the faceless leave behind dissolve rapidly into the foul smelling paste. Yeah, great. At one time, the Thin Men were the most advanced infiltration units available to the aliens. Now we face a species capable of mimicking the human form of will. If we can come to understand how it is that they emulate us so effectively, perhaps we can develop a tool to deceive them ourselves. The advanced stun lance was commonly seen maintaining order and quality disturbances throughout the world. Their unique stun lance could be adapted into a weapon our rangers are already trained to use. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. this place up and running, we should be able to access some of these dormant alien systems. Let's see if you two can play nice. too old to start believing in ghosts, which means someone had to access that unit remotely. If they can access Rover, there's no telling what else they might be able to do. I strongly suggest we make investigating that signal our top priority. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. I had high hopes for the Resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. New staff available. Two doctors for research. Fantastic. Commander, we have intel suggesting the aliens are working on developments that threaten our ability to stop the Avatar project. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. We have received intel regarding the aliens' current activity. Preparations to follow these dark events before they can be enacted are already underway. Counter operations will be available soon. Uh, alloy plating. And we get hunted by a UFO. Commander! The Resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's reach. But that means we'll have to fly over and scan the area if we want to recover this stuff for ourselves. Okay. Looks like Shen was able to confirm the signal's origin. Inputting the coordinates on the map now. Okay, not now. Seriously. Okay, we need supplies. <sighs> Unfortunately, that's got to be our priority here. We don't have supplies, we can't build anything. Avenger plotting new course. So many things you have to choose. not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. The sectoid's rapid physical evolution over the past 20 years is a testament to both the aliens' mastery of genetic engineering 
and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risks. Don't forget to save. Thank you. Preliminary autopsy exam conducted by Dr. Richard Teigen, acting science officer. Although my direct surgical experience is limited, the alien genetic manipulation of the species previously catalogued as sectoid provides a certain familiarity in relation to human anatomy. Excuse me. While the earliest documented accounts of sectoids on Earth indicated examples no larger than one meter in height, the specimens we encounter today are nearly twice that size. Knowing full well that the aliens continue their efforts to integrate human and alien DNA, my findings here only reinforce the notion, the notion of a continuous development process. This larger sectoid variant has an even greater proportion of human genetic material, selectively combined with the intention of improving the otherwise limited physical abilities of the original, with enhanced psionic abilities and greater overall strength. I'd say they succeeded. My own shield is a powerful sonic artifact rendering souls completely immune to negative mental conditions and independent mind control stunts and oh please. Okay. We need a lyrium in the lab. I think that's a priority. I wanted to get those stun lancers. The Advent Stun Lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non-lethal blows, recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units. Apparently my predecessor was something of a brute when it came to handling the interrogation and autopsy of alien subjects. From what I've heard, she was keen to get her hands dirty whenever possible. Thanks for the reminder, Ryan. efforts, we have gathered additional resources and staff at Resistance Headquarters for your use. Brilliant. However, making contact... Setting course for South Africa. Come on. Commander, we've established contact with the local resistance and we're ready to move on the alien black site on your order. Advent's been keeping this facility a closely guarded secret. We should make sure our troops are ready for a tough fight before we send them out there. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. New regional contacts located. Back to HQ. Setting course for East Africa. Need everyone back on form. Okay, while we're here. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Tygen seems to have a habit of scratching that scar on the back of his head. I wonder if anyone made sure his chip was actually removed. Okay, armory. Cool. 
Cold Steel is back on the board. Jane Kelly will be back in two days. Let's see if we can recruit. Targets. Commander, with the number of contacts we've established, we're getting requests for support from multiple sites around the world. Unfortunately, we only have the resources to respond to one of them. The decision is yours. So we got a scientist, and we don't get a UFO, but on the other hand, we get a bucket load of supplies with this one. And we don't have to worry about every advent unit having extra armor. Right now we need supplies. And what we really need is not to have all of our soldiers going up against armored units. making the choice. Deployed. Squad green to deploy. Again, sorry for eating on stream. We've been keeping an eye on an intermittent signal moving through this area, and we think it's tied to an unprotected terminal on board one of the Advent trains. We can't pass up a chance to retrieve their data on the latest alien project, so we're moving on the train. Eliminate all hostile forces with extreme prejudice. If we can seize control of that data, we might have a shot at stopping their progress. Menace 1-5, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Save game. Whew. Okay. So, crash course. In a second. Cold steel. We don't have time, but it's gonna have to do. 
headed there now. Good old tower up there. Eyes on the prize. Sparks. I'm afraid you're gonna have to be our scout. Headed there now. They keep these trains running around the clock, but you'll never see them loading or unloading any cargo. At least not where anyone can see it. Lovely. Okay. can attempt to access the advent network from here. We might be able to hack their systems and get an advantage. But be careful. If they detect us, things will only get worse. Roger that. Hostile forces spotted. Okay. Moving. 
bombs away! these trains running around the clock, but you'll never see them loading or unloading any cargo. At least not where anyone can see it. Solid copy. Okay. Moving to 
Overwatch. Eyes on the prize. Yeah, ninety seven on him. Ninety six. Overwatch. Target neutralized. They spotted us. Yeah. That they have. Not even close. to engage. Confirmed on the move. Stay clear of those turrets. We're still not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. Hi. On the move. On your order. Overwatch. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Problem, boss. Hey, why approach club? We could use one of these. Just got this ability. Designated position. Affirmative, covering now. Yeah. Pick it up that way. 
Stepping off. Location confirmed. I've got eyes on Advent troops. Advent network is almost entirely locked down. We're running out of time. Get to that terminal. Yeah. Definitely on it. Moving on target location. Hostile terminated. That's what I want. Overwatch. Roger that.
choice but to get Copy that. that. Objective located. Commander, we have confirmation of the exposed access point. X-ray neutralized. Target asset sighted. Heading there now. Let's rock. Thank you. You're still being back. Menace 1-5, the Advent Network Terminal is shutting down. This is your last chance to secure the data. Oh, hacking in so much right now. Hacking in! Successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. I'm going. Right. You are Affirmative. Covering now. 
Ow! You. Scanning. Whatever you say. Take that thing out, will you? Target neutralized. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status oh. confirmed. Mission accomplished. <sighs> Raven, most damaged down. Bait most attacks cold steel, most of the fight cold steel, the furthest crash course. That's what you get for being a squad leader. Steelers out again. The aliens are probably still wondering what hit them. Let's keep it up, Commander. Clandestine facilities. Our research team can use them to discover the, that exact location of the facility, but it takes some time. They're in cool CB4, advanced head through a 10 percent chance to shot them on passive action. Fantastic. I have an officer, trooper, sectoid, stone lancer, turret wreck. Reinforced armor plating has kept the wrecks of these turrets mostly intact after combat, but their inner workings are heavily damaged. Likely the result of internal self destruction charges. And 35 supplies. Inventories rely on the aliens' advanced automation technology, providing security replacements to bolster their peacekeeping forces. Once we've gotten a look at their inner workings, we may be able to integrate the technology to improve our chances of defending against UFO attacks. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. And another 171 supplies. Okay. Okay, balance is looking a lot healthier. We've got Proving Ground Skulljack on the way, we've got research coming in. So I would say that, yeah, at this point now... Uh, Your old man would be proud of what we've managed to do here. What uh, you've managed to do with this ship. I just wish he had lived long enough to see us fight back. To know that it wasn't all for nothing. Trust me, he knows. If there was one thing your father always kept in mind, it was his faith in humanity. He knew we could win, on our own terms. Very poignant place to leave it, so, in a safe game. And, yeah. There we go. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Um, really appreciate uh, Ryan, Wendy HT, and the Git coming in on the chat. Thank you very much. Um, and as you remember, as I was saying, human rights, sorry, trans rights, human rights, and Black Lives Matter, very important to me. And yeah, tell your friends, I donate.ie forward class Shunuk. And help contribute to the funds we're building for the Temple Street Foundation and literally new facilities and equipment, etc., to help children with uh, blood disorders and bone marrow disorders. Uh, that campaign is going to run for another 11 years. However, every euro that you give to the cause will be given to them every month. So, you know, so far, 
200 euro this month that will go to them at the start of next month and anything we get in the following month will be given in that month so it's not a big thing where it's like oh they're waiting on this every single month the balance in the campaign is given to them so they're not waiting for it it's straight into their their hands as, as quickly as we can get it so once again i'd like to say thank you all for watching Gaurav Mahogad, good night and take care.